fourth place with Cancer heading up to the first place, Archangel top three, and Miraculum. I think they stayed top two. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, you can you still can go for the comebacks on game number two, but now it kinda make it kinda becomes a little bit more difficult since it's already past the 500 point mark. There's already yeah. there's also there's already Cancer who has 700 almost 700 points, and the only teams who I think can come back against this is anybody from sixth place and up. Because yeah. if you think about it, any other team who's not them that gets 500 points if they go rank one will still not have enough to counter that 700 points exactly. unless they have 200 extra points from kills, which is 50 <laughs> kills. You're gonna have to pretty much kill everyone and win as first because you already killed everyone. If you do that miraculously, you're gonna go yeah. and take that win. But so far, it's gonna be Cancer with 694 points in 11 total kills. <laughs> Miraculum sale place with 690 points for this. That's really close for top one and top two. 10 kills to their name. So it is exactly just one kill separating Team Cancer from Team Miraculum as we approach the map number three. Yeah. 4, 5, and 6, and Boo with 520, R1 Gaming with 306, and Bugals with 302 points. So, yeah. like I said again, <coughs> from the looks of it, anybody from 6 to 2nd are the only teams who can actually beat Cancer in their uh, first place ranking. Also, guys, extra information for you who are wondering, what are the prizes yeah. for, you know, the tournament that they're joining right now? Well, for this week, it's just a thank you. No, just, just <laughs> kidding, guys. It's, it, congratulations, but no, no, no. Yeah. It's basically, this is a tournament or uh, the tournament that spans four weeks per month. Yeah. So that means that you have to stack up points every single week or uh, was it uh, rather to c um, keep your first place every week, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. So it's like a king of the hill type of the deal wherein if you're the top one on week number one, you have to do that two, three, and four. And on the fourth one, if you're still the, the first one to win, you will be able to you know, claim a prize. Claim a prize. Pli the prize is still to be announced, but you will. Yeah, yeah. Well. Yeah, still. This is not a thank you thing. <laughs> yeah, it's not a tap of the shoulder. We're just kidding. We're just kidding, guys. Yeah, we're just getting you guys. Yeah. But yeah, we are headed to map number three, our final map of the day. We saw in map number one, teams are kind of just filling it out. They are mm -hmm. some some teams are aggressive. Some teams are totally not aggressive. But in map number two, we see teams already knowing what to do. We actually saw a something like a battle of the five armies within five squads in the the last beach of uh, the shore of Sosnovska, which is yeah. quite cinematic, but in the end it was uh, uh, Team Cancer topping it all off. So, so it's like a Hobbit thing happening. It's, it's a Hobbit thing <laughs> happening in a modern day setting as we go and start our map number three. Arkane is going to immediately drop on Severny, and they're going to yeah. be the only team to actually uh, get right. that one town. That's going to be a lot of loot for them. And the other one's going to be Team 18 with Pablo Escobar. Yeah. Team 12 all already popping out, so I kind of want to see one team go for school. S the thing with school is it's it's quite tedious to get around it and take the loot. But yeah. if if you're lucky, you you get rewarded heavily because it's quite a safe place to get loot from. All so things considered, checking out the map here, it seems like Gustoko and his squad will be going to Yasnaya. Pablo Escobar and friends will be going for. Uh, this other one in the middle near school, it uh, is uh, Ro Rozok. Yeah, f sorry, my was my bad. A little bit of forgetting the Roz name. Roz Rozok. There we go. Someone's gonna go to Pachinki as well. Yeah, Pachinki, where everybody you know gets gets uh, <laughs> interestingly. Ah, I can't find a word. I, I, I got, I got, I got. I can't find the word. Guys, 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 guys. <laughs> I, I got, I got one. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's nothing. Uh, you know, R eighteen or anything. Yeah. I got my pinky stuck in Pachinki. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's the name of a team, man. Name of a team, cause like, cause like I believe like Stone Mountain, Stone Mountain 64 when he joined the tournament, the PUBG Invitationals, it was like, Pachinki is my city. But you you gotta go for the rhymes. Yeah. I got my pinky stuck in Pachinki. All right, I gotta think of my own. <laughs> and once oh, again, of course, step. Five Peaks, OG yeah, yeah. gonna go for Sosnovka base, but. Squad 14 with FN Monster Zencho. I think this is Mineski League of Legends is gonna be right on the precipice on their uh, on the southeast, which is Novorepnoya, which is the other crates or the other pier um, town of the map, or port t kind of town. Yeah. 
and 14. Oh, all right. So we actually two teams will not proceed to map number three. We previously had 14 teams. Maybe those two teams felt that that they had no win condition at all. So this is probably gonna be the case, but just oh. like last time, it's gonna be around Susnovska. Susnovka, I mean. Where will Somebody see landed on school. All right, there. they're getting to learn something now, boys. All right, all right. And what's kind of good here is Squad Twelve. They landed on school, and nobody landed on the apartments on the other side, meaning really? that they have two really good exactly. loot areas to get their resources, their materials, exactly. their weapons at. So this is really a nice spot for them to you know just to start stacking up some items. Yeah, very nice start for themselves. So far, they're only finding SMGs and pistols, but you can see as the game progresses, we probably might see them with more weaponry to their name and there is there's chief there's grandado around the bridge um square number 10 about around mil how to pronounce it milta huh? milsha uh, milta. milta yeah milta. Milta. milta milta yeah oh there's a new squad here it's superlux's uh squad so we have Again, this is just me knowing some of the players here. Zyril is one of the ex Overwatch uh, players, and he's joined, I think, Anbu as a team, or or I think that was Superlux, who is also an ex Overwatch player. Zyril's the dedicated support for uh, for them, and Cy Superlux was the dedicated uh, tank, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's right. a little bit of like background for you guys. Yeah, we'll see, FPS players <laughs> migrating to other FPS titles. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the beauty of you know FPS. Yeah. yeah. So it's similar to like uh, fighting games. Yeah, I, I think that your skills in FPS will always translate to other FPS. It's just that you'll you're gonna take a little bit of adjustments. For example, the rate of what? fire, the recoils will not be the same. But G yeah. J Jive is having a good time <laughs> around the shore. Just you know, yeah. if if we have <laughs> ourselves a, a water <laughs> battle, this is gonna be a crazy, crazy oh, thing. Man. Yeah. It's gonna be really cinematic if we would see it. Rosa is gonna have a little bit of people to actually go there. I think two squads will yeah. be spotting themselves out. Man, I'm just gonna take my time and give a big shout out to our observers. They <laughs> just look at how great our camera work is. <laughs> okay, cinematography is quite nice. <laughs> also, a big shout out to one of our moderators right there in the chat. It's uh, Daryl Chung. Yeah, big shout out. Uh, I'm sorry. Small things, uh, it's just small things for the uh, camera crew. Just yeah, look no, at that. Blink 182, <laughs> man. All the yeah, yeah. Small yeah. things. Oh, 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 Matt. Oh, all right. All look right. at that drift, man. Yeah. <laughs> Drifting Who'd with the U.S. <laughs> Who would have thought that a vehicle as big as this can drift? Well, like I said, everything's so slippery. Yeah. It's kind of easy to do something like that. Yeah. It's kind of oh, no, he knows. He, he knows his U.S., man. <laughs> look at the control. You know, oh, Matt. You know the 200 oh, IQ plays right, that you can right, do with right. a vehicle right now? Is that if you're going to go ag up against an opponent and you can't stop your vehicle properly, what you do is you drift onto a tree and yeah. kind of hit the just one portion of the vehicle. So oh. you take minimal damage and at the same time you force it to stop fully and then you just turn it and then go to the side that's not, that's not getting shot at and then exit from that side. It's like, it's like, a, like a pivot. Yeah, yeah, pivot, pivot, yeah, yeah pivot, pivot play. Yeah. Pivot play. Mm -hmm. Senior US, but Matt is actually quite away from his team. He is alone in this US. Maybe just wanted to get information around. And I, I think what he's doing right now is he doesn't want to go straight up ahead into the roads or around. That's why he's drifting around and about, just so he can't be hit if ever there's someone who actually tries to gun him down. He actually still doesn't have any materials here, so he needs at least a, a safe place for him to be looting at. Spunky's gonna be riding up by his lonesome. Doesn't have anybody in the vehicle with him. He's gonna be charging up, possibly into Pachinki. I'm man. not sure. Maybe into the bridge area. The camera work, man. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him angles. Just or maybe he's just looking for a vehicle to pick up Dex. Oh, he's gotta be careful. Yeah, right. he, he just drifts in front of him. He's like, oh, wow. your grabs right here, but then he becomes the grab driver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've, yeah. we've never seen that man. happen before. Man, if that happens, I'm gonna be spooked. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, oh. they're gonna get caught out here. Alright, alright. All right. All right, Angel, oh, they gotta be careful. <laughs> Another tactic you can do when you're on a vehicle getting shot at is shifting your <laughs> seat <laughs> so that you get you don't get shot from one angle. But that was a little bit clutch because he actually bumped into a tree. Imagine yeah. if he was like very low on the yeah. HP on his dash, it would have popped actually. It would have popped. But that will not be the case as the care package is just floating on water with. Uh, 
An AWM, oh, there you go, with an 8x scope. This is going to be great for all those sniper fans out there. But AWM, the one of the, I think, the strongest, even. And Jowie actually game. spots it out. If he finds yeah. a... Man. If he finds a a boat, that would make it easier. But that's like one, two, yeah. 300 meters of meters. swimming distance. That's not really what you want to do, because like the water right now, they they have changed it. Where in you're kind of, I believe, slower to yeah. uh, to swim. Yeah, swim. So you gotta be very careful. Yeah. Man, you know you should. Uh, mean all of our cameramen, man. They deserve an award, <laughs> best in cinematography, if that exists in esports, but. So far, if Jawi would actually get his hands on that AWM and that 8x scope, that would be pretty great for them, so for, the, for his team. Especially when we know that the last play zone is quite near to Sosnovka, so the beach of Sosnovka you know, Island. You know what's the most difficult loadout that I have, ever, that I have never ever experienced? Yeah. yeah. An AWM with a suppressor. Oof, man. Because it's... It's difficult already to find an AWM and the packages because it's always. I think it's the the rarest percentage yeah, drop probably, probably. compared to like the other ones. Yeah. And then a suppressor is also not easily spotted out yeah. in the map. I mean, it, it could just straight up win the fight, the yeah. the game, man. I and mean, they can't see you. You can't see them. You hit them with just. I mean, I, I think it it can still one shot through helmets, right? Even through level three, uh, yeah. level three. Yeah. If you do land the headshots, but that is the strongest go. Oh. Right I mean. Let's let's look for some more action right now as Arcanio spots out an opponent that's gonna be squad sixteen here. And Spunky's oh, nice. gonna charge in. Why does it sound like he's underwater though? That's kinda yeah. weird. Maybe a little bit of a bug. But anyways, he's not he's gonna be swimming through bullets if he's not <laughs> careful here. He does have some heals, so he should just start, you know, injecting himself with the first aid and, that turn and, and the as buffer well. as well because there's four People of Archangel right here, they know that he's upstairs. They can hear his footsteps yeah. real easy. And this smoke might be able to buy him some time, but eventually I think yeah, if the smoke dissipates, Matt will be taken out, unless, of course, he's quite ready. Yeah. The good thing is there's no other way for Archangel to actually get into here, unless, of course, they throw in a Molotov cocktail. Uh, but there man. is a, a whole chunk of a whole chunk of real estate in the second floor exactly. so you need like multiple molotovs to flush him out exactly and matt is playing this as care careful as he can he's not jumping out of the window because it's a little bit too it's a little bit too hazardous to do something like that and spunky he wanted to just charge up on the stairs but matt has that one area bottleneck but they're gonna yeah. be charging it as a whole squad is the funnel oh no matt look the other way unfortunately for him punch him. Oh, punch punch him. him oh man this is so brutal. Punch that booty. <laughs> oh, man. They, they did it. Three, oh, man. Three punch booty. <laughs> <laughs> Archangel, they're quite the bullies, man. They put him down hey, and hey, they dude. punch him. <laughs> All is fair in love and war, oh, man. All is fair in love and war. And like <laughs> what Toby Wan said last night, they went in through the rear. That's what they did. They did. <laughs> There's a care package. It contains an Ooh, M249. M249. Yeah. I love that weapon. And a, and a ghillie suit, which is also pretty good if you know how to use it. Yeah. Oh, Archangel, you took out Matt, and here is <laughs> Squad 16 looking for some blood. Looking out for some Oh, they sp I think Spunky probably have spotted who does. Maybe? No, they're uh, not they're looking not, at him, they're though. They're not. They don't know. Who does? You got to be on. careful. Lead Do a it. shot. Do it. One more. Oh, oh no. man. He had it though. He had it. He had it in his hands. But of course, the moment he pops his shot is also the moment that he reveals his position, right? So yeah. that's why he was quite too conservative on when to pop his shot. Unfortunately, he didn't land it, and our Cajun knows where exactly he is, as well as Aquilon. So the whole team of uh, Aquilon, as well as Matt, will be fleshed out right here. Yeah, they're gonna waste quite a bit of resources here to try to push through Archangel, and they're in the safe zone, so. I mean, I know that they want to go aggressive into this one, but I feel like they should just try to exit out, not engage anymore because Archangel has control of the structures. Yeah. I know I know that trees are a good cover, but they're only good at, at one direction. Exactly. So look like this. Huda's just got taken out, and now yeah, Spunky's that. looking for more kills. It'll, it will just take time, and now more angles can now be covered in more by squad number 16. Man, actually dropping down. Grandado will take that one out. Well, Zyro takes another. And they might be able to run over. Beezer, as well as Gustavo, be left for his team. 
but for squad number four, I mean, but they are gonna receive a lot of flak. Grizzom. Nice man, he's getting oh. shot through a, a really cheeky angle. Nice and is just trying to run away. Yeah. He's going for the zigzags. 80 80 on that one, but he's still gonna get spotted out. Yeah. And only Aquilon is gonna be the yeah. last man standing here for squad 16. Yeah. Grizzom knows that there's already two taken out, and Aquilon is. Literally a rock in a hard place. Yeah, between a rock, a tree, and a hard oh. place. Oh, he takes out one though. What was that? That was a headshot by M16. Pretty nicely done by Aquilon. Does he have a nade to throw? If he has, oh, that would be so good. So hard. Come on, do it. Kobe. Kobe. And even jumping through it. Oh, it might have been too much. much. Oh! oh! It connects, but it connects. he got his bro up, man, as well yeah. as not taking <laughs> himself down as well. And Spunky should be all right. Dex Spunky was already right. knocked again, so yeah. his life through knockout is gonna be very short. So exactly. really gotta take him up immediately. And yeah. look at this squad ten is just <laughs> having a little bit of a joyride. You yeah, know, banana boating their way. It's almost <laughs> summertime, man. So this is just gonna have to just enjoy the water. Yeah. Look at that. Look at them. Look I'm at them. Going enjoy on it. a trip on my favorite rocket ship. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know the good thing about wh what Aquilon did was uh, to throw the nade and when. The, I think one player revived one, the other one, and the one who tried to revive the other actually was the one who got knocked out. But uh, I think was was Jawi able to get the I AWF for him? I for think himself? he was. I think he was. He probably should. Does if I'm not mistaken, if you've already taken the package, it does yeah, it, disappear from the map. Oh no! It's still there. Oh, it's still there. Oh, or is it? Then. I think this might, this is a different one because it had an eight times. Oh yeah, and the other one had a backpack as yeah. well. Back, so this back, is a back, back. ghillie suit with an AWM, and if we could just, uh, yeah, if we could just look at Jawi and his squad, maybe they probably have that AWM for themselves. Oh, does he? Oh, I think he lost uh, gas there. <laughs> he probably did. Did oh, they? They're one. Oh, they're oh no, no, they're not. No. They, they refueled it. They refueled it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this but is why you also have to have gas, or rather, um, uh, attack. A a gallon fuel, of fuel. Yeah, fuel yeah. on your inventory just so that yeah. you can have this situation oh, not happen. Oh, oh, it's about to pop. Oh, come it's on. smoking already. Oh, Squ come on. Man, Squad 12 is making my head <laughs> pop a little bit here, man. <laughs> oh, they, oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. This exit right, right now. This, this, this he's getting get up. He's getting get like, get out of there. Get <laughs> Oh my god, dude. <laughs> they gotta be careful right now because it's gonna be so close to the pop that. that they, <laughs> yeah. The driver should lose his license, man. Uh, yeah. oh, a poor driver. It's on the two trees. I mean, I get it. I get it. This is a battle royale. Everyone needs to survive. There's no rules. But yeah. the rules of the road still apply. Never hit anything in front of you. Yeah. If, if it's too solid. But in any case, Squad 12 will still be. <laughs> Fine and dandy. Yeah, fine Squad 15 is on yonder up uphill to them. So you gotta, yeah. be, gotta be careful in that one. And I think they're also shooting someone from down below. If Squad 15 decides to go for the push, they will be squished, sandwiched in their position. They gotta be careful. They have to transition quite quickly here and yeah. uh, get out from that dangerous area. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the kill kill zone. There you go. The danger zone. So far, 42 still alive. 11 teams still intact as we are here. Slowly getting to the sh the zone is shrinking. Oh, so another, another water bottle? Yeah, probably. And here is another uh, care package M24. This is my favorite weapon. Yeah, M24. As AWM, I know is like the best sniper out yeah. there. But in terms of like how many um the a the ammo type, the 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 damage as well, and you know the I think the range M24 I think is the is the most optimal because it's a 7.62. Ammo type weapon, yeah. and then it has it feels much smoother compared to the KR, and the AWM is a bit too I would say aggressive, like when you sh shoot it. But at least with the M24, it kind of feels a little bit more smoother, um, much smoother. I don't know if that's just me, but I, f I prefer the M24 compared to the AWM just because of that. Even though the AWM is much much better as a as a damage oh, weapon, the M24 is just better overall for me. Yeah. It, it <coughs> It does have 762, seven, which is easier to come by. Oh, Kino. He gets one though. Uh, yeah, he got it, he got one down, so yeah. one's gonna be swimming with the fishes. Yeah, with his sniper rifle as well. Can he find more? No. Beezer gets out. Also uses the rock and this is such wow man. This is like a scene from a from a Martin Scorsese movie or a Nolan movie. We're man. still gonna be at Barry for the last zone. This happened on 
on map yeah. number two. Gustavo. Or gate number two, rather. Apparently died from falling. Naomi taking him out. Arcane Akila, as well as the other member for Archangel, will get one. Oh. oh. This is another one of my favorite weapons, the BSS. Yeah, BSS. It's the sniper rifle that has a built in suppressor. Yeah. The bullets that it used though isn't as aggressive. It's not a 7.62, it's a 9mm, it but a 9mm. what it gives back for its lack in damage, it gives back for its rate of fire because you can yes. use it as a burst weapon and as again, like I said, it's Thing suppressed. Though. So don't, you don't really know where you're getting shot at by this sniper. Uh, that's just right. I mean, it might not be the strongest one, but because it's suppressed, he, he can get an advantage just because of how much you can yeah. hide away from your opponents. 37 still alive in this game as so we are approaching the last Oh, last map. There we oh. go. Here it is again. Skyrim Complex on Super Lux. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it's the only way you're going to get up the mountain, yeah. though. Squad number 12. They're quite in, the, in an open area, just protected by some rocks. They are, well, literally. They're not in the safe zone, though, so yeah. I don't know why they're trying to fight this. Exactly. If, if they can just go and swim on the water already. But it's going to be pretty hard. I think against sniper rifles. But you, That's, yeah, that's but also the good thing. Yeah, like... Yeah, true, true. Like you can, I, I mean, the, the before the micro on the water is much more difficult as someone who's shooting people on the water, but it's still difficult. And again, since since there's not a lot of time, they should immediately just go for the safe zone. Team uh, squad 11 here should be in a very bad spot because they don't have a boat to work with and yeah. swimming on the water takes a lot of time. Exactly. Like, like for example, from this area right here on the map, going to the opposite side by swimming, that takes like three minutes to go three for. Minutes. So you gotta be really careful. Which okay. is gonna be pretty hard, especially where the blue zone is actually zero wing in. And there you go. S squad number two still intact. They, have four. they don't have any kills just oh. yet. Oh! Shooting that booty! Shooting. Come on. <laughs> oh man! Monster! Can't believe he plus And another one! People are actually veering away from Monster, but Monster gets one. Knocking out Pablo Escobar with the AKM. He has to back away as he is receiving a significant amount of damage. He will actually go down, knocked out. By Jawi. Lester has an AWM. That's so there you scary. Go. He, 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 they took it with the 8 times scope. But you have to think, as the map shrinks for them, maybe the AWM could, should it be the best one. Ooh. Aldo is going to be charging in onto Super Lux. So he's got to be careful at the side of the mountain. They're looking to, Squad 18 is looking to shut down 14 already as he tries to revive his team. But aside from that, over yonder here right now, Squad 2 is playing. Lester goes in with the shots. Got to be careful because that, ooh, that one, once it hits you, man, you will feel that in the morning. Trying to run away. And oh, this is basically man. open fire, open sesame. Oh, oh, Lester. Open the gates. This is the of best. Bullets, man. The best PUBG game probably for Lester as everyone is just running in the open field. Free for him to be hit on. He will get his secondary rifle. Takes out two. Will actually get another one with the Scar L. And him and the rest of his team will just rack up the kills, rack up the knockdown. People will start to die from the blue zone as well. As he will just gun down squad number 12. So I should go down without yeah. any much difficulty there. He had two two things to worry about the, the zone as well as his opponent. So all he can do is maybe run, but he didn't have a smoke to work with. And he just punished him. Missile Fert's gonna go for Super Lux, and Super Lux goes down, sadly oh. enough. And capital jump. Capital, capital like, Q. after all of that, capital Q. Squad capital 2 was still in the safe zone. Exactly. So all of that shooting from them, they had capital no risk at all of being you know, forced by the zone to go capital into a weird position. Capital and it kind of works in their favor because they're still in a, in a structured area. And now Squad 1's gonna go to 15 and... Oh. Oh, this is bad because they, they know oh, they're nice from downhill break. and they're just going to be throwing nades all day long, man. Yeah, Garrett, Toby. And then he'll race the great. A little bit of damage from Unscreamy. But he might win the duel. As uh, Don Quixote will actually help him out. Don Quixote. Yeah, Don Quixote. Oops. Charging they're actually him. charging in forward. They know that probably squad number 15 didn't have enough ammo as they are pinned down to the ground by squad number 1. And they find it. Oh, oh, don't kill, don't kill. Tackle right. shooting, but he yeah. brings it back. It's gonna be Gigamesh to actually give it a little bit of time. Garatobi's gonna be oh, a little bit of the BMs, you know, not taking out the last guy, but rather taking out his teammate. And Gilgamesh, oh no, he got spotted out, and that's yeah. gonna be Garatobi with the W. You're gonna be able to revive both of them, 22 people alive. And is anybody gonna be, ro gonna be rotating onto squad one? Pretty Looks close. like no, so they're gonna be safe, and they have three, four bodies of loot to actually pick up as well. 
This is going to be pretty intense. At least team number four, that is Garatobi teaming, teaming up with Gusto Koi. They, are still, they still have four members. Uh, squad number 11 has to run away from the blue zone as fast as they can. As so they were able to survive. In. Yeah, they, they did. They did. Quietly, they did. Yeah. So they are heading to the beach. Squad 4, though, is going to be the one yeah. to inter in intercept, intercept them. It's going to be Breezer. Yeah. Fly hype on his own. While squad number 8 still. They have four members. Lester once again from long distance. He has got the ammo. And he has got the vision. The smoke screen might be proving to be uh, pretty hard for him to deal with. But with the rest of his team just collapsing onto squad number 13. Squad number 13. No, this is so chance. bad. 13 and 11 are out in the open once again. Exactly. And they're just going to be free fire opponents to Run. take all the damage. And I think the last man standing here will be 9 and 2. Squad 1 seems to be outside of the zone and 12 is dealing with them perfectly. Yeah. So, I mean, that was like oh. 20 plus people alive. Now it's only 19. They prone out and Kayla doesn't have any more uh, vision of them. I mean, line of sight, I would say. And Archangel, they are si sitting inside a pretty interesting w. group of w. houses around the beach. They are quite in the middle though, so might be that in the long run they could be run over by the rest of the members. But so far they have a very good spot to camp camp in. They find squad number eleven, Grizzom. Right, the shots. Okay. Naoni's gonna get shot oh. out once again by Grizzom. Goes prone. Will save himself, but is he's gonna hit by the zone? Oh, that's gonna be so much damage. He's gonna get knocked out here. Doesn't have any heals, and he goes down. He goes down. And Kino's gonna follow through as well. Yeah. Oh no, this is just bad for Squad 12 right there. That, this is such a good positioning coming up from Archangel. The the fact that they got in there first hand is quite oh, great. Oh no. Oh, pop shots, pop shots, after pop shots, will not get any kill just yet. Has to reload, he will actually shut down. I wonder why, it was Zhaoyi with a car 98. And this is what we're talking about. If you put yourself out in one position for far too long, you're susceptible to getting punished on that position, exactly. and Zhaoyi just did that. Lesser was taking quite a bit of damage, but that was fine because Zhaoyi picked up the slack and took him yeah. down. And now Squad 1, who had such a great play against their opponents a while ago, is being directed by tw by two, and they're pushing aggressive, and they're pushing fast. So yeah. squad one's gonna be ready. Squad number two, though, the thing about them is that they do have the carry package, but Archangel, oh, Spunky almost gets one, but was taken out by Grandado. Scar L, Killa as well. Bang. Should yeah. run away now. It's gonna get bombarded here. It's squad two. Oh no, squad one's getting sandwiched a little bit. There is the U.S. and. Oh, look oh, at rock. this. Squad 2 has such a good position. Yeah, exactly. Two rocks and a U.S. That's a lot of cover for them to actually work with is. inside the safe zone as a well. A couple of trees as well. They know where number one is. And just look at the positioning from Lester. He knows that he can take advantage of the distance away from the other members, other teams, as he... Oh, no. It's actually Dex. We actually take out one. But Gustoko finally takes out Grism with an SKS. Killa. Died outside the play zone. And the zone is actually closing in and it everybody is. on that compound has to run away. Squad 13 is going to be a very bad spot and it seems like... Man. Oh, Lester. finally killed Grism. So Grism yeah. is down for Squad 9 and Squad 9 is already out of the making. Five Peaks is still here as well as Squad 1. So yeah. let's see who will be the last man standing. Oh. Mono e Mono. This one is... One versus two. One versus two is it? Yeah, it is squad number one versus squad number two, and yeah. number 13 13's is gonna surviving, take too much damage. but yeah. No, it, it got down already. So this oh. is like a 4v3 oh already. Oh my goodness. Lester with the AWM, we have to take note of this guy. guy. He spots them out, going for the shots. Good guy, hero. So oh. needs someone who's stand stack, static on his positioning. Goes with the spray, they know where he is right now, and he's just hoping to connect some yeah, shots. Spray, Throws spray. out the nade guard, Toby nice is nade. very low, and they're Nate. throwing it! Oh, oh no! no. It is gonna be bad. Nade Central, baby! Oh, no. Blurry Face is gonna get bombarded, and he <laughs> will get taken down. Only Blurry Face to remain, and this should be five peaks winning. It's a blitz There spring. you go! Five, three, four, and two. That's nine. That is 14 kills 14 for five kills. peaks uh, overall. Oh, man. That, that was a way, to, a way to end a fight. I yeah. mean, they had a lot of nades. They blitzkrieged. Squad number two. And even though, I mean, I mean, I think squad number two, Lester is on squad number two. I mean, they bombarded squad number one, which is yeah. 
this this is also a thing <laughs> that you have to remember in PUBG. I mean, there's so many aspects of the game that you have to wonder, but at at the very clutchest positions in that type of squad versus squad situation for rank number one, the the squad that would most typically win is the squad who 